let's get started with just talking about the kind of mission statement of this series. You guys both have horror projects under your belts and are considered horror directors. Um, so now you're venturing into the comedy realm. How did, how did you wind up in this process? I think it started with my conversation with James Gunn. Um, you know, he and I were spitballing one night at a, uh, at, I think at a, I think it was someone's party. James went off and go, you know what? It could be cool. Maybe I could get together a bunch of um, horror director friends and see if I can convince them to come and make a bunch of short comedies together. So I thought it was brilliant of James to go off and thought, you know, let's get horror people who's never had the chance to do something like this to do something like this. And it kind of started off from there. Do you guys have a little bit of comedian in you that needs to get out? Or? I don't know, man. I, I think pretty much all my horror friends, all my friends that into horror films and make horror films, right? They're all really funny people. I like to think that we're funny people, right? Um, and, and, and I think there's that really good balance, you know? Like, if you're into the dark stuff, then chances are you, you don't like just dark, scary stuff. You like dark, funny stuff as well. The horror and comedy well, are very similar, you know? It's all about timing. Yeah, you could definitely got to have a twisted view of the world to want to make horror films, I think. And they say horror films are the most fun films to make on set, you know? What, what, what are some horror uh, horror projects that kind of balance that line of horror and comedy? I mean, everybody's got their favorite, you know? Well, it's interesting. The history of horror comedy isn't that... As, I mean, I think some of the most... Some of my favorite films are horror comedies. But if you look at their box office results when they're in the cinema, they never really do that well. <laughs> well let's talk about your respective projects. What's, uh, what is Doggy Heaven? Doggy Heaven is a very simple premise. It's about a guy who, uh, who dies and due to a clerical error ends up in Doggy Heaven. What's the issue? The issue is that I've been eating dog food. I've been hanging out with dogs, talking to dogs. On the plus side, I've learned how to lick my balls without straining my neck. What's this guy gonna do, you know? I'm walking around in doggy heaven, you know, like, hang out with dogs, eat dog food, get molested by a dog. Stop it! I saw a poodle back there. She was your type. Like, I just love to put Lee through his pace. Just, you know, like anything I do is just an excuse to torture Lee Winnell. Lee actually wrote the script for this, so I mean, <laughs> yes. he's got a, a self to blame. I know, that's what I said to him, like, dude, you know you can be writing yourself stuck in a room with like eight hot chicks, but instead you'd rather be stuck in a room with like eight dogs trying to come to you. I'm like, what is wrong with you, man? And, uh, and so, so when we get on set, I, uh, you know, he can never blame me for putting him through his pace. Cause, uh, cause I'm like, dude, you're the one that wrote it, and except I like to take it one step further. Lee showed up on set thinking that we were gonna be uh, giving him human food that looks like dog food, but uh, to his shock, and I'm in shock, like some of the behind the scene footage, right? You literally see him watching us opening a can of Elpo, right, and pouring into it, and go, go ahead, Lee, that's 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 your lunch. <laughs> and uh, and you know what? You know, to his credit, he you know he went in there and he ate it. True method actor. Yeah. Now Peter, tell us about your, your chapter. Well, it's about, it's set after the apocalypse. What's it called? It's called Post Apocalypse Pizza. Okay. About this guy, you know, after the bomb's gone off, uh, you know, it's been really bad for business. Um, and it's really pushed up the price of pizza. So this guy has to fight his way through the wasteland, fighting off all these thugs and mutants and stuff that want to get the pizza. The Mad Max meets Domino's pizza commercial? Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who do you have in it as your star? This guy, uh, Eric Gable. Okay. He's actually a relative of Clark Gable. Okay. And uh, yeah, he's a really good, you know, fully trained actor. And um, he has a real history of uh, doing comedy. And, uh, and he, you know, he's had his own martial arts school and stuff as well. So he's really, you know, he's like a real ninja. So. Yeah! He's just the perfect guy to do it. Well, talk about it to me. This is kind of uh, this is kind of a new thing. This is a new exercise for Xbox. I mean, you know, this is allowing people to just kind of jack in and watch some great short films. I mean, do you think that you know this is where entertainment is going to start eating? I definitely, yeah, I definitely do think a big part of entertainment is going to go down this way. You know, like I love the concept, and I think it's a brilliant idea of mixing um, gaming platform with um, films. And I think it's a great way to contest the waters first with um, short films. Right. And, uh, and you know, like, man, today's kids have like Xbox all plugged in. It's incredible. Doing shorts must challenge you guys. I mean, you're getting used to doing features, but now you're trying to compress the narrative into like, nine minutes, ten minutes. You know? It was definitely challenging, but it really is kind of like a smaller movie, you know? You know, like, you know, I, I don't know how many days you took to shoot your film. I took two days to shoot yeah, mine. Yeah, mine was two. It was yeah. really rushed. Yeah, it was, you know. Was that, was that a time set by yourself or? 
budget. Well, just the nature of the budget and, and, and the nature of what it is, right? You don't want it to shoot longer than two days. You want it to be fun. And any longer than two or three or four days, right? Then it becomes, it starts to feel like charm, right? But, <laughs> no. but, but, yeah. No, is there talk of coming back for a, like kind of a second season? But if they if they work, if people like them, then maybe yeah, you would maybe like horror comedies do you just flat out weekly dramas? Uh, I can't speak for everyone, but I definitely love to do one of those one day. <laughs> so, yeah. I know you wanted to do some comedies at some point. I don't know if a series of shorts about the horror guys doing weekly dramas would <laughs> That'd be great. On Golden Pond? Exactly. By Peter Collin. Well, come on, it'd be awesome. Gilmore Girls? Love it. Very cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for I'll let you do that one. <laughs> cool. Right, Thanks, cool. man. Thanks. Cool. All right.